This is a really easy function to use and it has a very simple purpose to manipulate errors. So I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna create an error here by dividing these two numbers. So we have sales divided by, by order sold and then we have the, the sales size. Um, so we have like, uh, there are 24 orders sold and the, the average was, the average order size was $357 or something like that. So I'm gonna copy that to the other cells and then something terrible happens. I get an error here. And that's because I'm trying to divide a number with zero or by zero. And that is illegal everywhere in the world. So mathematically, it's something like the world blows up if you try to do this. And that's why Excel uh, comes up with this error so it doesn't blow up, right? So, but it's ugly. It's ugly. You don't want to see an error in your spreadsheet. And to change that, and it, you can change that for any errors using this function, but you need to use the if error function. And the if error function is a function you wrap around other functions or basically just other formulas to change what happens if they return an error. So this is a formula that returns an error because it's dividing something with zero. So around this, I'm wrapping if error like this, if error open parenthesis, it has a very simple syntax and the syntax is what goes into the function to make it work. It's simply just the original formula, comma, and then what you want to happen if it returns an error. So the original function or formula is right here. We don't need to do anything about that. Go to the end of that, hit comma, and then write what you want to be happening if this returns an error, and it does right here. So it could be uh, error, you can write error, oh no like this, hit enter, and then that's what, uh, that's what it's gonna say. That's not really very descriptive though. So you could, uh, an, an, a very typical action to take here is to write uh, nothing in between the quotation marks like this, and that just removes the error visually so you can't see it, or you can write zero here. That's typically what people do. Otherwise, you can do something like this, contact, admin, something like that. You can tell the user, uh, you can help the user a bit on what to do next, like that. If you wanna learn more, please check out this video right here that should be a pretty good fit for you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.